Hi everybody, welcome back. Welcome to the section customizing your report settings. Okay, so now we want to customize our report settings. So what we do is we click on settings over here and we click on reports. Now, the first thing I want to show you is that you've got the option to customize your inspection settings here. However, you can also customize them by inspection type. So for example, if I have different requirements on a move in inspection, as opposed to a move out, and maybe my commercial inspection has different requirements, I can customize the reports per inspection type. Okay. So the first thing is, are we going to show our details or our client's details? Now, generally speaking, if you're a realtor or a rental agent or a sales agent, you would use your details to display on the report. However, if you are an outsourced inspection company performing inspections for your clients, you might want to show your clients details and logos on the reports. So that's your layout and your cover page. Table of contents, that's quite self-explanatory. Do you want it to display on the report and you simply turn it on or off? Um, if it's a simple report that needs to be quite short, you might switch that off. A lot of people might have legal notes or disclaimers that they want to add um, to their reports. For example, you could say things like, this is an annex to your lease agreement. You might put that into your notes. Under your disclaimers, you might say that when you're describing the condition of something, it is a general description. Um, for example, if you say uh, gold paint, you're describing the color rather than the material. Things like that. Whatever legal notes and disclaimers you have, you can add them in here and you can simply type them in or copy and paste them in. Then when it comes to photo sizing and layout, you've got various options here and you just choose the size of the photos that you want and where they're positioned. Um, I'm going to choose medium photos and I want them after items so that's absolutely fine and I can see you can see here I can customize them by item by room or black block or for the whole property okay timestamps generally you would leave that on if for any reason you needed your timestamps off you would switch it off there new flags and condition change flags now this is when the system picks up that something new has been added to an inspection in other words a previous inspection has been uh, performed at a property a subsequent one has been performed the data has pulled through and the system has picked up that something new has been added it would flag it for you you can see the little flag on the left hand side over there the same thing for the conditions flag report now this is quite important if you're in rental um, and that is because the ingoing information pulls through to the outgoing and if anything has changed you, the system would then flag it up and you can pull a changes report um, which will which will show you all the items um, where the condition has changed between the ingoing and outgoing and generally you would then use that to ascertain whether it's fair wear and tear or whether it's damage and whether to deduct from the tenant's deposit so we'll leave that on in this case if you're going to pre-full um, a large template and you're going to have a lot of non-applicable items um, in your template, you can hide them from your report just to condense and consolidate your report uh, and make it look good. It's nice to have a nice um, consolidated report rather than empty spaces. So we're going to switch that on as well. Now, when it comes to, we call them actions and liabilities, these can be customized. We'll cover that a little bit later, but anything at the property that requires action, you can then flag that or highlight that, add some specific comments, take some photos, and you can pull that as a separate report. So here we're just choosing how we group them. So we could group them by action. Yeah, the default on the, in the property inspect count is cleaning, replacement, and maintenance, but you can customize these. So I wanna see all my cleaning things together, all my replacement and all my maintenance issues together. Um, or we could group them by responsibility. So all the tenants' responsibilities, all the landlords, all the agents. So I'm going to group them by action. Okay. Tenant feedback, this relates um, mostly to rental inspections. And of course, um, it's the ability for the tenant to give feedback on the inspection report. So you'll notice if I switch it on over here, there's an extra column that appears on the report called tenants' comments. When the tenant receives the report 
via email, um, it's a web document, they would then be able to fill in any items or make any kind of make any comments against any items and you would get an automatic notification that the tenant has made comments. Some people absolutely love that feature, um, some people don't like it, uh, but you've got it's an optional feature over here. You could also, remember we can customize these report settings by inspection type, so we could say for a move-in inspection we want tenants to comment and they'd be able to comment during the duration that the report is in a completed state rather than closed. So in our example, when we set up the account, we allowed seven days until a report automatically closes. So the tenant has seven days to provide any feedback. If we want to allow them to upload photos, we would click that as well. And of course, you can customize your declarations um, and signatures over here. So you might want to change the um, the description around the signature declaration. Any other terms and conditions you might want to add, you can add them in here. Um, and then this is just your PDF options. So you can see uh, one per room or one room per page. It can make the reports quite long. So I'm going to switch that off. I don't want a web link in the header and I don't want the tenant, tenant uh, initials in the footer. So I'm going to switch those all off. You can then customize the delivery options of the report when they are sent out to the tenant or the landlord, and this is where you would do it here. For example, you could send a full report, the changes only, the actions only, and you can also choose when the report is sent out, on completion or when it's finally closed. So I think that's it in terms of your report settings. Uh, we're gonna have a look uh, a little bit later or next up at adding properties and then creating inspection.